Shaving Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And as promised, I'm going to bring you a shave with the more efficient plate for the Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. I still mess that up. I just can't help it. As you can see here, this one has two dashes, kind of here. There's the difference between one line and two lines. I used the one with one line in my last shave on camera, and now I'm using the one with two lines. So I've uh, used this this plate actually four days in a row. Um, my skin is doing okay, as you can see. It's not, not too bad. However, I would say that typically I would not do that. The reason I've done that is to see kind of how my skin handles, handles it. And uh, we're gonna discuss that during the shave. My soap is one of my prized soap sets. It was something that I bought just on a whim, uh, maybe a year or so ago. And um, it's one of my favorite fragrances in the whole of wet shaving. This is Declaration Grooming in collaboration with Chatillon Lux, and this is Nefertiti. I've used this on camera a couple of times and it's just, it's just beautiful. It's incense, it's honey, it's jazz cigarette, a little bit of cannabis. It is dark, it's mysterious. For me, it's incredibly seductive. I enjoyed it so much that when Mayo Factive split off and started doing the uh, extract de parfum concentration of his scents, I, I bought that as well. It's absolutely wonderful. I have that with the matching splash and I'm gonna be using that today. That is in Declaration's Icarus space. As far as I'm aware, they haven't released it in any of the other bases, which is unfortunate because I do think Bison and um, Milk Steak are slightly better than Icarus, but I mean, it's pretty marginal as we all know. <laughs> when it comes to soaps. And a uh, new brush in the den. As I said, I, I greatly reduced all my options. I've bought a couple of things back just for a bit of variety. Um, by buying it back, I'm just buying additional options. And this is something I've been looking to get for a long time. You've probably seen these. This is a Lutin Brushworks um, handle. Absolutely incredible. Ian Ryan making them out of Va Las Vegas, Nevada. Just, it's... It just looks so cool. For anyone that knows me, you know I'm a sucker for wooden brushes, and this is absolutely amazing. So let's uh, let's get get a good load of Nefertiti here. Not too much of a load because you know I want this to last. I this is one of the ones that you just don't see come up for sale very often, and uh, I really wouldn't want to be in a situation where I just have none. Well, that will happen one day. There's just not much you can do about that, to be honest. Let's get a good load on here. The Icarus base, I, I, I just don't use it enough to remember how, like, its nuances. I do remember the Icarus base being, being just as temperamental as water as milk steak. So... What I mean by temperamental, by the way, not so much that it needs loads of water because I actually don't think milk steak needs loads of water. I think it's pretty average in terms of thirst. I think it can't handle loads of water. And what I mean by that is I find that if you go over that hydration band just a little bit, it dies a very quick death. And uh, if I remember, Icarus is very similar. So I need to be careful here as far as uh, hydrating the soap goes. Let's so wet the face and we get the proto lather on the face and we're right actually just lathering. So what I need to do in this shave is really take it easy. Um, my lathering style requires quite a lot of scrubbing and because of that, I've given myself brush burn a few times, and that is pop really feasible. If you're having lots of sensitivity in a very focused area when you're shaving, it's very likely that you're scrubbing too much with the brush and you need to calm that down. Just rinsing the top of the soap here. I still have plenty of this left, to be honest. Like, I'm not running out anytime soon. As always, let me clean the counter because the water drives me absolutely insane. And then we'll uh, get to lathering up. Lutin, I've tried this not already. I really like it. 
So yep, my only problem is the size of the handle. It's very small or small. I wouldn't say very small. I've had very small handles. This isn't very small. It's just a bit smaller than I personally like. I think this is a super high density knot from Magot. I might be completely wrong. Beautiful mix of backbone with a tiny, tiny bit of scrub. Not, not a lot of scrub by any means. Not quite as nice as that Fancherian from a TDR or Chisel and Hound as he's known now. Definitely good enough to get a really nice lather, even already, like the Zyker space comes together quite quickly. And I know I said at the start that it's not, probably not as good as milk steak or, or uh, the bison tallow formula. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> I, th I think as shavers, especially as hobbyists, we get caught up on the latest and greatest. Good example of that is A&E. I have Signature and his old base and I go back to it every now and again. His old base is remarkably good. <laughs> so if, if that's all you have and that's all you want to buy, you're really, in my opinion, going to get good shaves anyway. And don't need to worry about the latest and greatest because there are things that matter a lot more. But yeah, this is a really good shave soap. My first uh, declaration soap was Contemplation which is a really nice, uh, I, I, I describe it as like a green scent. It's like a green citrus scent. This is definitely not a green citrus scent. This is actually quite dark, which shows my preferences has changed, have changed over the years. My aim for February is to try and kill a soap. And, uh, at least the best I can. I'll, ch I'll change when I'm doing these videos, so once once a week. But the other shaves I'm gonna be trying to kill one of my soaps. I don't know what I have yet, what I'm gonna choose. I have a Coles Pond. That's almost done. But I love Coles Pond. I don't really wanna kill it. See, look at this lather. Really, really nice. It ain't milk steak. It ain't the latest and greatest from Declaration, but Look at that lava. I, I just can't, can't bemoan that, you know? I don't think it needs much water, but we're gonna give it a tiny bit more anyway. Yeah, I think we're okay now. So as I said, I need to take it easy with the shave, um, especially as it comes to using the razor. I'll talk to you a bit about the use case of that second plate in a minute. Because for me, it is absolutely not the razor I would use every day. Um, as far as the second plate goes. Now the first, the first plate is a completely different story. Um, I could comfortably use that first plate every day, I think. But this plate, the most aggressive plate I've tried to use every day, um, well, I have used every day. I've used it for about four days in a row just to see kind of how my skin goes. And I have to say, my skin for the first two days handled it exceptionally well. After that third day, I noticed my skin developing a bit of irritation, um, mainly through sensitivity, not so much through visible irritation then. By the fourth day, I had a big bit of a kind of razor burn at the bottom bottom of my neck. Now, the, the funny thing is with this, for me, there's two types of aggressive razor. There's an aggressive razor that really doesn't care much for comfort, like the R41. I think the R41 is too unbalanced as far as just the way it's made. 
The R41 is leveraged way towards efficiency. So is this plate, but not, not quite as bad. This is still a very smooth shaver. This more aggressive plate. And because of that, like, I think if you're that sort of person that likes that more efficient shave of more blade fill, the way I would describe the blade fill of this is I would compare it to the E or the F plate on the carb. So it definitely has some efficiency there. I mean, you can probably still see the redness kind of at the bottom of my neck from the past few days. Um, it was a lot worse actually after it happened. But over the past day or so, with good post shave routine, you, uh, you can calm that down quite quickly. And I'll be honest with you, if, if, if I find that I am getting irritation like that, I just won't shave for a few days because it means I've probably overdone it. And uh, I don't, for, well, I'm in a fortunate position where I don't have a job that requires me to be clean shaven all the time. And because of that, I can go a few days without shaving. But for you people that don't, I would really try and leverage not pushing, really pushing your skin because it's just, at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. And if you're one of those people that do shave every three or four days and you can get away with using those really aggressive razors, by all means, I think I could use this every three days. Maybe every two at a stretch, but three, I think would be my ideal. So yeah, after about day four, I noticed just a lot of irritation for me. Well, not a lot, just more than I would typically like. And after this shave today, I'm probably not gonna shave for three or four days. Just to give my skin a bit of a break. And if I crack, because I love shaving, I use a very mild razor. So here I need to be very mindful, so very light touch. Very different to how I would approach kind of like a more comfortable razor. really trying to take it easy and it's working for the most part it is very efficient so I've gone across grain there just just straight across and it's done a very good job in terms of taking the hair down so if your skin can take it and you're one of those two pass shavers, this is a phenomenal option for you, this second plate. But overall, like this isn't the sort of thing I could I could get away to use every day. I actually think if I was in a position where I'd shave every three to four days, this would be a good option. But then again, like I, I'm very much of the opinion. If you're gonna do three passes, or in my case, two passes, sometimes, do a tiny bit of a clean up here and take it really easy. If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that many passes anyway, a mild razor will probably get you to the same point. Just, oh, just as far as like, just gradual hair reduction goes. So I don't think it's too important. So this is against the grain here. It's taking it real easy. There we go. Cleaning up any of the stray hairs that uh, were left behind with that second pass. And you can see the 
irritation there. So I'm actually gonna cover that irritation just to ensure that I don't go over it again. This requires like a feathery touch. You just don't wanna, just don't wanna push it, you know? Cause the shave's gone pretty well thus far. There we go. And I think we're good there, to be honest. I think we're good. Okay, let's get the uh, soap from the brush. I loaded quite light, but there's still plenty of uh, soap left in there, as you can see. Oh, what a scent. Get that on. That's a face wash. Clean up the gear. And I'll be back for the post shave and uh, my final thoughts. See you soon. Hey guys, post shave time. So this was one of those shaves where I feel like I could shave with this every day. It's very easy, no bother. I did miss a bit here though. There we go. Just very easy, no bother. Um, but then I, I then will get those shaves where I just, I get enough irritation for me to say, nah, this is definitely not a daily driver for me. To be honest, I know it's not a daily driver just based on my preferences. Um, Nefertiti, Chatillon Lux, Aftershave Splash. I prefer the toner, but I don't think they made the toner for this. Oh, it's lovely. So what, what I like to do. With Sorry guys, had a phone call there. Um, I applied the post shave. Very, very nice. As you can see, just a slight bit of menthol, as I was saying. I used this a few days ago as well, the straight razor, and it's such a lovely setup. What did I use today? I'll tell you and I'll let you guys go. Um, Nefertiti, Chatillon Lux collab in the eye space. Yeah, you can see my skin getting a bit red. That will die down after a few hours. I found my, fa my face just generally looks inflamed. But yeah, really, really nice fragrance. One of my favorites in shaving, as I said. Now, this is the aggressive plate for the uh, Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. This is almost definitely not a daily driver for me, but it would be an option if I shaved every three or four days. Um, for you guys that like aggressive razors, this, I think, will definitely fit the bill. The blade fill is, if I was to give it a score out of five, it would probably be a four. Um, it's not straight blade fill like the R41 is, but it's a good mixture of like higher blade fill with a degree of comfort as well. It's certainly not comfortable. I, w I wouldn't say it's comfortable, but that's my preference anyway. You might use aggressive raisins think this think this is very smooth. So overall, I'm really impressed with both shaving options for the uh, Apollo Light Razor by Smart Helix. The razor is made very well. The two plates are incredibly contrasting, which makes them both kind of good additions to the kit as a whole and yeah, I can't really complain with the quality of the razor, to be honest. And my brush today was the Lutin Brushworks or Shaveworks. This is a lovely handle and I'm really, really chuffed to have it. Really nice razor, I mean brush. And uh, last but not least, the Chatillon Lux Aftershave in the same scent Nefertiti. And I think to cap it off, guys, we're gonna have to do a spray of this Extrait de Parfum. Um, Nefertiti, just do two, wrist, dab, don't rub, and in the middle of the neck, and uh, that'll do. What a shave, good way to uh, start the week, it's Monday today. But yeah, uh, great shave, hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Drop a like on the video, tell me you liked it, or leave a comment, tell me you liked the video. If you didn't like it, tell me why, I'm sure we can chat about it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. However, you're on the road, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.